The numbers are staggering. The average American family will pay between two and three thousand dollars in additional taxes. Twelve hundred government programs will see cuts, and unemployment is expected to climb back above nine percent. This is becoming like debt ceiling debate 2.0 right now. The clock is ticking. Investors are looking ahead to what a possible package of tax increases and spending cuts could mean to the economic recovery. I think it's uh, very, very likely we suffer a very deep recession, and I, I don't think that's the way we want to go here. The fiscal cliff is as much about politics as it is about economics. Another $5 trillion tax cut that favors the wealthy is not change. I'm not going to turn Medicare into a voucher just to pay for another millionaire's tax cut. I'm going to lower taxes for middle class folks. Let's also make sure the wealthiest households pay a little bit more. Raising tax rates uh, is unacceptable. And frankly, it couldn't even pass the House. I'm not sure it could pass the Senate. As a member of the Budget Committee, uh, I've worked with and met with other senators, Democrats and Republicans, to try and figure out some path forward. But bluntly, our challenge is leadership. Democratic Senator Chris Coons of Delaware has been working on the issue for more than a year. Why would anything be different now after an election where pretty much everything has remained the same? That's exactly the core question, is why should the markets believe? Why should families believe? Uh, because we have to, because we don't have a choice. The alternative means more turbulence. Until investors and business people can construct a clear narrative with respect to how President Obama and the House Republicans are going to nail this thing down, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty, a, a lot of fear, and uh, we're not going anywhere.